Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. So today we are out in front of our, one of our local book shops, Comic Spot right here, because they actually just got in a bunch of brand new pops, some vaulted pops, and one of them has been one I've been looking for for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna be able to finally add it to my collection, but I haven't been here in a while. So I wanna check out some of the stuff they have. So let's head inside. Let's get hunting. And when you walk into the store right in front, they have a lot of pops they just got in, including some of those Motley Crue pops are pretty cool. I'm pretty sure those are vaulted. Looks like there's that older vaulted Sally, which is pretty awesome. Mini Puff, Ben Kenobi. Looks like they got a couple Dragon Ball Z signed figures. Michael Jordan's a great one. Five Nights at Freddy's. Here's a new Ginger from Gilligan's Island. Athena from Shazam 2. Some other mini puffs, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Scar. On the other side, they have the Chase Mare. They have Cartman, which is a great one. The older Shredder. The Watto, along with the Chase Weaponized Rick. Cthulhu's a pretty cool one. The Chase Gloomy Bear. They have the new composite Superman and also Uncle Rico. Over here, they have one of the older superhero Freddy Funkos, which is pretty cool to see. Taz from Space Jam, Jim Henson, Chase Sam from Luck, Bush Leia. On this back wall, they have a ton of pops, including a lot of the TMNT figures. Looks like a lot of DC ones mixed in. Colonel Sanders, I see. Down here, they have some of the Marvel pops, like the Mighty Thor, J. Jonah Jameson, Khonshu, Thor, Miss Marvel. Gore is a pretty cool one. Some She-Hulk pops. Spider-Man No Way Home, the Chase Wasp. I found this Peter Parker, which I love from Into the Spider-Verse. Doctor Doom is a pretty good one. Zombie Magneto, the Chase Gilgamesh. They have some older Marvel pops like Thor Secret Wars, US Agent, Gamora, Wolverine, the older Spider-Man. On this Disney wall, it looks like they have a lot of the Encanto pops that have restocked like Mirabelle, Antonio, Luisa, and Bruno. They have Goofy and the Annoy Stitch, which is pretty cool. The Chase Oswald that I still need to get in my collection. They have that next to a lot of the Star Wars pops like Casa Reeves, which is a new one. Luke Skywalker glow in the dark. Quill, which is great. The Chase Darth Vader Holiday and a ton of other ones. And then in the front, they have their Grail case. That's a lot of pops. The hat box goes, signed Tanjiro, Phineas, and Gus, which are great. All the Haunted Mage pops pretty much here. Bedtime Bear. Looks like they got Ezra up top as well. You got some other signed anime pops, the Hulk and the black suit San Diego Comic-Con Superman. And on this back wall is where they keep a lot of their commons. You'll find a bunch of random stuff, but it just keeps going down. And you find some good stuff back here, like the Black Light Nightmare of Christmas Pops. They have Rapunzel and Pascal, which I really like. Captain Salazar, some of the Tailspin figures, Void and Duke Kaboom. A lot of common and older Marvel figures, like some of the Captain Marvel ones, which might be good to get. Fantastic Four, the 90th Anniversary Vulture is pretty cool. And some figures I haven't seen in a while are some Solar Opposites ones. They also have a ton of My Hero Academia, Boruto, and a bunch of other anime. In this section, they have a lot of their two packs and larger figures, and including down here, it looks like they have the brand new Dobby from My Hero Academia, which is pretty cool. Eddie Greer and Lowrider, I actually really like that one. They have the Green Hornet 2 pack. It looks like the new cover for Oswald. What you don't see very often is Orville from the Rescuers. You have this really cool Hulk and Bruce Banner from Marvel Collector Core. And then back here, they have their section of sodas, which is a ton of them. Looks like Sauron, Black Panther, Geralt, Captain America, Frodo Baggins, and a bunch more. And guys, we are back from the comic spot. Have our nice haul here. I am super pumped with finally getting this pop that I've been waiting at years to get into the collection. I've seen it a few times at different stores, but normally they're not in good condition because this pop is 10 years old, but I am so pumped we finally were able to get it. And the comic spot came in clutch once again. I've got a lot of really amazing pops from there, including this uh, error chopper right behind me. I've gotten some other like exclusives from there too. And there was a place I like to go to get comics and of course, different pops and they do trade-ins as well so i sometimes swap things in and out of my collection especially stuff i get in mystery boxes that i don't want i trade them in there and get something i do want so definitely a great place if you're ever in the area over by us in the tampa area definitely go and check out the comic spot but let's go ahead and check out the things that we picked up at the store and i'll start with the big one and the big reason why i went into the store this is the vaulted man of steel superman check this thing out right here guys this pop is super cool and i love man of steel i love henry cavill superman and i love Zack snyder's movies so 
the fact that we were able to get this one here is just perfect. I have a good amount of Superman Pops. I want to say I have about eight of them. So now this is adding to the collection. This is one of the ones I've really wanted for quite a long time. And you might have seen in the video, they also had the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive black suit Superman in the case. But it was $400, which is definitely super crazy. So I can't afford that right now. But this one was definitely one I could pick up because it was a much better price. And this one's actually in really good condition with being a 10-year-old pop. And if you actually look on the bottom, it says 2013 it was created. The movie came out in 2013, so lines up. But this is such a cool looking pop. I love the detail on the suit. And when they actually came out with this original wave, there were only two pops, just Superman and then General Zod. And then of course the black suit Superman, which is interesting why they did that because they didn't actually make a black suit Superman until years later, until 20, what was it, 2021 when Zack Snyder's Justice League ended up coming out. So, you know, I guess they were kind of looking to the future for that one. But as far as the regular common, there was just two pops. But now, of course, we've had a lot more Superman pops since then with Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League and Batman vs Superman. And now we got a brand new General Zod pop with the new Flash movie. And of course, to boot, they did throw it in a pop stack or probably the person who traded in had it in a pop stack. So I got a free pop stack out of it too, which is pretty cool. And now I did pick up one other pop while I was there because I was looking around. I saw some that were at a pretty good price. And I know the value of this one dropped a whole bunch, but I still think it's a cool one because it is an older vaulted Marvel pop. This is Thor Secret Wars. And of course, is that good? actually going to be Jane Foster's Thor? Definitely a great pop. And the reason why I picked this one up, because was one, I do really like Jane Foster's Thor. I think it's great in the comics. And then I did actually enjoy seeing her in Thor Love and Thunder. But also, if we look on the back, there are actually two pops that were in this Marvel Collect Scores box. And the other one is Miles Morales. One I actually just picked up recently. So I was able to pick up both of these vaulted ones. And they're not very expensive. I want to say the Spider-Man Miles Morales one is probably valued at about 20 bucks. And this Thor one is valued around 15, 20 as well. I got it for less than that though, so that's definitely pretty cool. So now we have both the figures in here and I think they're both gonna go up because I think there's a chance that Jane Foster's Thor could return in the MCU sometime in the future, especially in like Secret Wars, because she is a Secret Wars, so she could come back in that Secret Wars movie. So that'll be pretty awesome making this one spike up in value. Well guys, there's our look at our haul from today's Funko Pop Hunt over at the Comic Spot. One of my favorite places to go hunt for pops because they're constantly getting in new stuff, new collections, which is how they ended up getting these pops right here. That Superman they just got in over the weekend and I had to go pick it up for myself. If you do live nearby or you are coming in this area, if you see a pop they put on their Instagram and you want it, you can message them. They'll put it on hold for a couple days. So that way you can go in and pick it up. That's what I did with Superman. But I was definitely super pumped we were able to grab this one. And finally add the pop to our collection that we've been waiting years for. But guys, I do also want to hear from you. What do you think about our haul from the comic spot today? These two pops, which is your favorite? And is there anything that you saw during the hunt that you would have picked up for yourself? I'm sure a lot of you guys would have loved to pick up stuff from the Grail case, that Black Suit Superman, some of the Haunted Mansion pops as well, some signed anime figures that were in there too. Definitely a lot of amazing figures, but I would love to hear what kind of caught your guys' eye in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.